spoke earlier about motor learning and the repetition of physical action to increase muscle memory to improve your skills on your instrument. I want to talk for a minute about practicing and I'm going to relate it to people who exercise. For folks who work out, if they just keep doing the same workout routine, eventually they'll stop seeing results, they'll stop making progress, they'll plateau. For example, if they're trying to lose fat, they may get stuck at a certain weight, or if they're trying to gain muscle, they won't get any stronger. What they'll do is utilize a tactic called muscle confusion, which means that they change up their workout routine. And the result is usually that they'll continue to make progress. They'll keep losing weight or they'll keep getting stronger. And I thought about this in relationship to practicing. If when you practice, if you just play the same things over and over again, stuff you already know how to do, stuff that you're comfortable doing, you won't make any progress. You'll plateau as a player. I've been playing paradiddles on my leg this entire time to prove a point. But it's really beginning to hurt, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> I've already built up enough muscle memory to be able to execute paradiddles without even having to think about them. So when it comes time for me to sit down and practice, if all I did was sit down and play paradiddles, I'm not doing anything to improve my skills as a drummer. All I'm doing is maintaining what my hands already know how to do. Now, a certain amount of maintenance practice is important. For example, if you play with a band, you want to keep up on all the material that you have to perform, even if they're songs that you've played a lot already, because you want to keep them in your hands so you can perform them at your best. But to really progress as a drummer, like our friends who exercise, you have to change things up. I look at the idea of muscle confusion, the equivalent of muscle confusion in terms of practicing as going through that motor learning process and teaching these guys how to play different things. So to really take your drumming skills to the next level, confuse yourself, break out of your comfort zone and take on some new things. And that is something that your drum teacher should have told you. Now excuse me, what I really need to work on are my threes against twos.